out to the Bush Block homestead. Just doing a bit of an upgrade to the solar charging station this morning. Putting some solar racks up on the roof. We had. We've had this one panel powering the solar charge station, which is a 150 watt panel. Have a bit dodge job. Just had it held in position with a clamp temporarily, so I thought I'd better upgrade. We're going to move that and put a couple 190 watt panels we've got in parallel. We're going to leave this one to charge just that old car battery which I'll use just to transfer water from the 1000 litre pod to the caravan. Well, I've got two 180 panels, oh, 190 panels in position now. I've got these parallel cables so I can connect positive to positive and negative to negative and why these two solar panels in parallel for the charging station and then I'll mount this other one on the rack on the other side and that'll be a separate and I'll just be going to get the car battery as I said before just to keep it charged just to transfer water this is just a temporary setup eventually I'll be moving the rack and we'll be working from that end back this way with the solar panels that receives the most sun up that end less shaded. We've got a tree there that shades this side of the roof early in the morning so that end receives the most sun during the day. It's on the western side. So we've got our two positive cables connected together in parallel now to that cable and these are our two negative leads. I just have to plug them into position. Then we'll have our two leads to connect to our cable going down to our charge controller. We've got our three panels in position now. These two here, the 190s are wired in parallel and this one's just by itself. I've had to mount it a bit funny. You see these panels are thinner. This is an old 150 BP solar panel I've had for oh, probably 10 years. And it's a quite thicker design. But I've been able to use the top of the clamp and the bottom just to secure it. And it's all nice and solid and clamped on the end of the rack. And this is just a temporary setup for the charging station. This is just to run a couple fans overnight off the deep cycle battery. And this is just for a old car battery for water transfer from the tank to the caravan. So we'll go down and have a look if we're all charging. Hopefully we are. See I've altered the wiring a bit in the charging box. You can see I've now got both the panels coming through these breakers. This was off a grid connect system so it was high voltage, only low voltage and only low amperage input. We've got the one charge controller for the two panels in parallel. You can see that's at 13.2 and the other one here is 13.5.